M0FXB, welcome to my channel. This is the Yesu 7900. We're going to go through the menus, the main set menus, one at a time. And I've only had this radio a few days. And if, if there's one that I don't know what it is, I will be reading the manual. So let's have a look. First thing you do is hold down the band set. And there is a timeout. So if, you, if I'm talking for too long, it will time out. We'll go to number one and then we'll just start uh, saying what each thing is. I find that this is a great way of getting to know the radio. So number one is automatic power off. So you basically can set the time and after say one hour, the radio will turn off. Number two, ARBEP. So this is the ARTS function. So if I press it, you've got two. You've got in, in range, let's call it, activates the ARTS feature, a high tone beep will sound when the transceiver first detects that you are within range and a low beep will sound when the other station goes out of range or you can select always. Activates the ARTS feature, a high tone beep will sound every time a polling transmission is received from the other station and a low beep will sound once when the other station goes out of range. That's handy and we'll give that a try one day. Let's come out, just briefly tap. Number three, A-R-I-N-T, selects the polling interval. So press it, and then you can change the seconds there. Press again. Number four, automatic repeater shift. So you know that one. It will add the plus or minus shift automatically. Number five, the beep. We've done that. So you can select whether you want to have it with the keys and with the... This SC stands for scan. It means that if you're doing a scan, it will, when it finds something, it will stop and beep. Number six, CLKSFT. So when you tap it, you got set off or on. It says here, shifting of CPU clock frequency. Set off, this function is only used to move a spurious response birdie should it fall on a desired frequency. Number seven, CWID. So again, this is during the ARTS function. So they made quite a big thing of the ARTS, which I think is that button there. Enables, disables the CW identifier during ATRS operation. Number eight, CWWRT stores your call sign into the CW identifier up to six characters may be stored. Let's just go back. I definitely stored something there. Number nine sets your DCS code. Number 10 DCS Selects normal or inverted DCS coding, available values, and there's quite a few there, TRXN, RXR, TXR, TRXR, and the default is TRXN. Number 11 is the screen dimmer, so if you tap it again, then you've got the brighter one is the lower number, okay. 12, DTDLY. That's your DTMF delay. So it's 50 milliseconds to uh, 1000 milliseconds. Default is 450 milliseconds. 13 DTSPD. And that's the DTMF speed. DTWRT. Loading of the DTMF auto dialer memories. So I've not done that one, but I might give that one a try later. I'll just push it once. You can store DTMF numbers and then you can recall them and it's almost like a shortcut for DTMF. Fifteen edge beep. Enables disables the band edge beeper while selecting the frequency by the dial knob. Available values are BEP dot on or BEP dot off or, and the default is off. 16 HM reverse. So you've got a couple of choices here. If we press it again, we've got reverse or home. So let's just read what the manual says. Reverse. Press the VM MW key momentarily to switch the frequency control among the VFO memory system and home channel. 
Press and hold in the Tone HM reverse key for half a second to reverse the transmit and receive frequencies during repeater operation. And if you turn it to home, press the VM MW key momentarily to switch the frequency control between the VFO and memory system. Press and hold in the Tone uh, HM RV key for half a second to record a favorite home channel. Back out. 17 Hyper enables disables the automatic writing feature of the Hyper memory. 18 INET never use this. Selects the internet connection mode and then you have three different modes. 19 INTCD selects the access number DTMF digit for wires operation. So I think this is like an old fashioned wires system i'm not sure if it's if that's how they use it now but anyway interesting intmr i think they were really pushing for that feature there's a lot of functions there selects the access number dtmf code for non-wires internet link system access i'll have to find a video of someone actually using that 21 is lock selects the control locking lockout combination and that's a very long list so look in the manual for that it's too long to read 22 is mic, selects the microphone type to be used. So you've got MH48, which is the sort of dtmf -y type one I've got, or you've got the MH42, which I would guess is the more plain microphone. Uh, name, 23, toggles the display indication of the memory home channel between frequency and the channel name. So at the moment it says name, if you hold it, push it, then Oh, it doesn't seem to be letting me to change that. Let's push it. Well, it says you can toggle between frequency and that. So not working for me, but name right 24. Stores alphanumeric tags for the memory home channels. I get that. So it must be a way of naming uh, an existing memory channel. So we'll have a go at that later. Memory 24. So 25. Enables, disables the microphone input during packet operation. Okay. 26. Sets the transceiver circuitry for packet board rate to be used. 1200 BPS or 9600 BPS. 27. Program in the alternate press and hold in function of the front panels. Okay. Don't mean anything to me. <laughs> 28. Programming the microphone's P1 ACC button assignment. Oh yeah, so this is where you can uh, decide what the programmable buttons do. And you've got P1, 2, 3, 4. Yeah, let's, have, let's just try one. P4, let's press it. Oh look, it's like a power one auto. So you can choose what you want it to do. Look, weather, priority channel, reverse, home, band, VM. Yeah, quite good, I like that. So tone and the power ones and even the repeater shift by the looks of it and w and weather as well yeah i think that's a good feature so let's back out of that so you've got four buttons for that repeater mode is if you press it look it's your plus or minus shift we know what that is done that one 34 pry revert so that enables or disables the priority revert feature 35 RX mod selects the receiving mode. So this is where you can go auto, FM or AM. So if you're doing airband, this will be a good one to use. 36 selects smart search sweep mode. So single, the transceiver sweeps the current band once in each direction and the continuous, the transceiver makes a sweep in each direction as with the single mode. But if all 31 channels are not filled after the, fir the first sweep, the radio continues to sweep. Okay, 37 is scan mode. Select the scan resume mode. That probably a shortcut for that would be good. Uh, 38 is selects the memory scan mode. 39 is the shift. Sets the magnitude of repeater shift. So yeah, I've done this one. So when you select it, look, so for example, GB3WR that I use would be 0.60 and some of the a lot of the 70 centimeter 
repeaters are 7, 7.60. So that's quite an important one. Skip memory channels, we've done that before. So you can basically flag it and then it will skip it on a, on a scan. 41 split mode enables, disables split CT, CSS, C, DCS decoding. So yeah, I've seen this before on the ASU radios about having a split CT, CSS. Uh, possible they use this on satellites and things, but I don't do satellite work. 42 is the squelch type, so that's the obvious one is encode, encode and decode, reverse tone, DCS, and then off. And most of the time you're going to use encode. 43 is your step, frequency step. That's it. Six, I always put it on 12.5. Tone frequency, that's important if you're setting up a repeater and it's say, for example, a common one is 94.8. Or 77, they're, they're the common ones. 77 on 70 uh, centimeters and 94.8 is very common on um, 2 meters. 45 is your timeout, so I set mine for say 1 hour. Uh, the, so 30 minutes that'll do. So the radio will turn off after 30 minutes if not used. 46 VFO band, so let's see what that says. Selects or disables the VFO band edge limit for the current band. Band on. When the VFO frequency reaches the high band edge of the current band, the VFO frequency will jump to the low band edge of the current band or vice versa. Band off. When the VFO frequency reaches the high edge of the current band, the VFO frequency will jump to the low band edge of the next band, vice versa. Then you go to wide and narrow. So wide and narrow. So that will be 12.5 or 25 kilohertz. Um, let's go back. So, you know, some repeater keepers, some digital modes that you use um, may say, can you please put it on narrow band? This is where you, how you would do it. 48 is a weather alert enables, disables the weather alert feature. That's quite handy. Uh, and then you're back to number one. So I hope this helps. Uh, just, I'm not an expert on this. We're just looking at the, going through the menus, reading them, and then talking about what's in the manual and what I do know about. And then it saves you having to go to the manual and, and go through it. Or you can just watch the video. So bye for now. Please uh, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. 7-3, all the best.